subsidiary of Agence Française de Développement. Agence Française de Développement is a public financial institution fully owned by the French state and in charge of rolling out the international development policy defined by the French government. When he arrived uh, with this, this budget and uh, this, this hope to partner with banks, but also with uh, investment funds, I said, I'm not going to tell you go to this or this area and focus on agro-processing, which makes sense, or textile, which also makes sense, or health, which also makes sense. I said, it doesn't really matter uh, which area, because it's not really ours to decide. Ghana knows what it needs, and the pandemic has certainly also redistributed the cards and shown that some of the things that were imported now need to be uh, made in Ghana. Investor Say Partner, INP, is an impact investor that focuses on investing in and supporting African SMEs. We have been investing in African SMEs since 2003. We've invested in over 120 businesses over this period in different countries. And we fund SMEs because we believe they are the building blocks of the economy, providing livelihood and employment to many across the continent. We started this journey in 2003 and um, over here in Ashaman, but uh, we've grown over the years, but um, um, we have had a lot of challenges along the way, especially with our infrastructure, which is not originally purpose built for hospitals, and then financing and then human resource requirements. Now what New Crystal intends to do is to upgrade its infrastructure, upgrade its services to serve more people, more of the urban poor that the company already serves. So what we've, we did with them is not just provide capital, but technical assistance. We provided technical assistance in helping them to develop the expansion plan. We provided technical assistance in helping the financial management of the company to be better strengthened so that there's a better accounting infrastructure and a closer way of monitoring how the business is performing. So our financing was to provide the physical infrastructure for expansion, provide training and capacity building so that we can have a homegrown team which is made up of young professionals that are delivering cutting edge services and solutions in the health sector. The investment from Oasis Capital was extremely important for us. It helped us to increase our reach, uh, our capacity in-house, what we could do, the spaces that we had. It also helped us to uh, increase our effectiveness, uh, increase employment um, in the area, because this has come with much enlarged space and requirements for staff in various areas and various cadres. Um, so extremely important for us. Also, um, our vision to have more digital contact with our patients to um, bridge the gap of communication, this has really helped. And beyond that, our investment has also helped in terms of providing training uh, to respect to bringing external consultant and technical people to help them right from the onset with design to ensure it's compliant with international standards and keeping to all the environmental and social standards that are required for this kind of facility. The impact uh, on, on local development and um, the community has been great. Um, it's bringing modern medicine to the community, access, um, more space, um, employment, um, um, products like the laboratory and the pharmacy serving the community um, in these times when health is, is really premium. Proparco is, um, has got those 3.5 billion uh, in all Africa 
to support SMEs. The way they operate is they partner with banks because they know the SMEs. So when the SMEs come to these agencies to ask for a loan or for a support or for technical assistance, they are already known. At Ecobank, we believe that it is our responsibility to help SMEs grow because if we are to play a strong role in economic growth, then the SMEs become one of the avenues for doing that. And this is something that we take very seriously. And we at Ecobank are particularly very interested in the new addition with the Choose Africa segment of this uh, portfolio.